so due to the nature of the podcast and, and, and the uh, topics and my bias uh, with MBT, uh, we've got a lot of like-minded clinicians listening here, but are there clinicians who have a different approach within musculoskeletal assessment and treatment um, who can serve just as well and just function just as safely and just as effectively who have different approaches? I mean, ab absolutely, right? Because safety safety's kind of a universal code. We were all taught that, you know, in PT school. Um, I think we just have to remind everybody to stay with that and not get away from that. So, so absolutely, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, we, we joke amongst my peers that have similar credentials and it's like, hey, sometimes people just need to move and you need to give them permission to move and, and, and natural movement will get them better, right? Because if you go to the core things of what we do, um, the thing that stands out in the literature is therapeutic exercise, right? So you don't need to have credentials other than DPT to do that, right? So if you're safe and, and you do that, it can absolutely have an impact. I work with several therapists right now. One used to be an, an, an army physical therapist. He's a civilian, uh, department army civilian. Um, he's doing you know, great work. I have um, another DA civilian. She used to be an officer for me at Fort Benning. She happens to be certified in MDT. So, so absolutely. But I think to my point earlier is, you know, we communicate about patients. Uh, we don't work in silos of, of excellence. Uh, if we're stuck, we ask for help. We, we consult. Um, I've got a friend, um, Colonel Dave Feltwell. He's, he's the chief down at Fort Belvoir right now. He, uh, he wanted me to come look at a patient he was concerned about. And so I went down there and, and um, it, it's all ended well. So I think absolutely to your point, you don't have to have these, these clinical um, credentials. But what I would say to you though, um, anecdotally, and we'll talk about outcomes in a second, um, if you do have them, I think it makes your job potentially more efficient and a little bit easier. Um, and, and just kind of to go with that one step further, um, you may or may not be aware that all military healthcare has been transitioned to the Defense Health Agency, so Army, uh, Navy, and Air Force, and um, they're very interested in outcomes, right? Because how, how do we know what we're doing if it has any effect? So I'll be interested to see as we start to capture more outcomes across physical therapists, across all of our treatment facilities, if if those things start to start to play out. So, for example. If you have an AOMP fellow, do you see better outcomes or worse outcomes than a therapist that's got nothing postgraduate in terms of credentials? Same thing for a diplomat or a cert. And can we, can we find a happy medium? So I'm very curious, and I think that's going to start to answer that question. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm frankly, I'm glad they're interested in outcomes because we want to provide the best care in the most efficient, effective manner for all our beneficiaries. Hear the entire episode for free on iTunes, Spotify, other favorite podcast players, or go to mechanicalcareforum.com.